Well, good morning. The sun hasn't even come up yet, and I'm already at work. Isn't that fun? <laughs> uh, but this morning, we're going to do a quick little warehouse tour of the Olympia products we've been stocking here recently, and a little overview of what each one does, what they're good for, and my thoughts on them. Uh, I love Olympia. I think it's a great product. Most of the fixtures in my own house are Olympia, and a lot of the fixtures in my parents' house are Olympia. Um, haven't had any issues with them, and they're reasonably priced, and the quality seems to be there. So we're just going to, you know, we, we keep quite a bit here at Concord. You know, this is in the back of the warehouse. That's all the Gerber stuff there. We keep some TNS stuff over there, and LK bottle fillers, and... Uh, all of our you know, musty utility tubs and mop basins and we, we keep all sorts of things here but we're, we're you know we're going to talk about the olympia so to start off with we've got two handle bar faucet it's a fairly popular one the uh laundry faucet these are really popular we sell a lot of these uh, let's see, this guy right here, that's a two-handle bar faucet, but it's got the uh, wrist blade, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call that, the, the wrist blades. This is uh, for a commercial, in a commercial environment, if you got a guy that needs a, a gooseneck lavatory, you know, four-inch spread lavatory, or if you, or if you need a ADA-compliant bar faucet for some reason, this is the ticket right here. So quite a few of these as well. And... Uh, there's a single hand, uh, single handle with pop up brush nickel. That's a popular one. Two handles, two handles. So the seventy two forty two. If you, if you, as far as basics, two handle lavatories go, that's going to be your most popular one. The the forty two, the seventy two forty two. That's the one that comes with the pop up. Let's see. That's all. That's all. That's old uh, bronze version right there. This one, let's see, that actually comes with a grid strainer. It's, it's a 7251, and the, these these are these these are these uh, handles are considered wrist blade for ADA compliance. You might sell a few of these. They're kind of neat. The uh, 7220. It's kind of an old school looking one. Those uh, I believe those are chrome handles. Kind of looks like an older faucet. Kind of nice. And here's another style, the uh, 7290. Just a you know, just a different look. The 6161. That's a single handle, less pop up. Um, you know, you can always add a grid strainer to this one if it's for a commercial environment, which that's typically what you're going to sell this style one for. Um, it's very very similar to the Delta 501. The only difference is I don't believe this this one does not come with supply lines pre-attached. So you have to sell them supply lines. But otherwise, it's basically the same thing as the Delta 501. Very, very similar. This is a single hole. It's actually in... Uh, that's brush nickel. Okay, so that's a 6010. Haven't really seen many of these go out, but it is a really nice looking faucet. It's, it's, it's a very modern looking thing, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's the chrome version of it. That's a matte black. I think I've seen a few of those go out. Let's see. Now we got the K4162. This is in brush. This happens to be in brush nickel. Uh, this has a quick neck for the uh, sprayer. That's a good. That's a good one. And here's the same thing. The 4160. Set of 62. That's uh, there's no spray on that. It's a fairly basic kitchen faucet. Uh, then the 4160. That's that's I will that's like your baseline. You know, well, that's the same thing as that one over there. It's just chrome. We keep quite a we we keep a bunch of those and they're they're pretty popular. We sell a good number of them. Uh, the 5131. That's a two handle. It's kind of got an old school look to it uh, with spray. I haven't really seen many of these move out, but uh, it is an option. These are all these this whole pile of chrome. Uh, let's see, 5121s. Uh, again, just a different handle style. 
that's more of the I mean it's, it's they're chrome handles but it kind of has that more rounded look to it all right so now we're getting to the neat stuff as far as kitchen faucets so that's a uh, that's a 50 30 it's got it's a pull it's kind of a pull out style uh, sell a few of those I see those move fairly regularly and then we got the 5342 that's a gooseneck to a two-handle gooseneck um, I actually before I stepped up to a different model that I actually had this one installed in my personal house and I and I liked it it's pretty nice it's pretty nice faucet it's very very affordable very affordable Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see there's another 5160 that's not where it's supposed to be so I need to fix that there's a 5271 which is it's kind of like a high goose I haven't really seen many of those move and then you got another, some more 5030s. So that one just over there, you know, not in the right place. This one, um, again, pretty good faucet, pretty popular. And these, let's see, that's a 5010. We're going to come back to that one. So the 5040, that's your, uh, that's basically what I consider to be your baseline as far as trying to cross this to a modern, you know, good looking faucet. It's a, it is a good looking faucet. Um, I actually installed one of these in my mother's house, and honestly, the weight of the thing and the quality of it, it's probably better than a lot of the deltas we keep, to be perfectly honest, and for the money, you can't beat it. Uh, this one, I'm going to open it and check. Yeah, it does come with supply lines. I thought it did. The, the nicer faucets they make like this one, and uh, some of the other ones I showed you, they, it varies from model to model, so make sure you check. But but the nicer ones do come with supply lines pre-built in. And they're not like the DST. These are actually braided, and your hot side is marked. I, I, I think this is a better way to do it than just having the PEX lines. I'm, you know, the PEX lines are fine on the DST deltas, but I don't know. I just, I prefer to see braided stainless. Uh, that's all DXV stuff, which is super, super high end. Well, it's not super high end, but it's very, it's high end and American standard and kind of expensive. But we're not talking about that right now. So now, the K5010. It's kind of a restaurant style gooseneck. It's a very, very tall gooseneck. It's got a, uh, a spring relief on it. Real nice long hose. Pretty nice two function sprayer. It's got the quick connect feature, so it does come with supply lines. This is what I have in my house right now, and I love it. It's it's fantastic. It's great. It's a great faucet. Um, we keep it in chrome and brushed nickel and matte black. And speaking about finishes, just be aware that what Olympia, what they call old rub bronze, is not old rub bronze. <laughs> uh, it's actually more like a champagne bronze. Now they do make a trim color that is closer to or pretty doggone close to what we would normally call old rub bronze. I forget what they call it off the top of my head, but just be aware of that because I know when we first got started getting really serious about Olympia, they sent us a bunch of old rub bronze stuff and we happened to we found out the hard way that it is not old rub bronze or at least it doesn't or at least it doesn't match with Delta's old rub. So yeah. So we're gonna kind of go back through another way. Roman tub. They do they do make a Roman tub. Uh, we keep this this we got this random one here. I don't think we have any other ones laying around. So that's something that I'm probably going to mention next time I get a chance. Try to get some more of that in. And you know then then they got some three hand the three handle style. This is kind of like a basic one, two handle, twenty one ten. Sell a good number of those. Thirty two ten, the P thirty two ten. Um, and this kit comes with everything you need, rough and valves included with these. Uh, there's some more, there's some 1210s. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, 1210. Some more of those. The 2000, which uh, is a really cool valve. Um, basically it's a Delta, it's, a, it's like an old Delta. It, it's seats and springs and a little ball. That's it. You know, it's in the Delta parts fit right into it. 
And uh, we, as far as I know, we only keep the P2000. They, they make a version that's, that's just a shower only. But, I mean, all you got to do is just cap the bottom. It's it's easy. It comes with the valve. Just put a cap on it, and you're ready to roll. You just, just, just keep that on the truck for spares or throw it away. You know, it still come out way cheaper buying this. And it's a good valve. It's a really good valve. Uh, let's see. And then you got, you know, 2370. It's, it's just different shower head design. Same thing with the 2344. It's just a... Slightly fancier shower head. It's kind of a, you know, kind of different. And different trim colors. There's a 2370, 2370, 2300. Is that what that is? Yes, yeah, 2300. That's single hand. Uh, that's actually, uh, this, this is a newer style. This actually is a cartridge style, I believe. And it's because it's T instead of P. That's something else on these part numbers. If it has a T on it, that's trim. If it's P, that means a pack. I think it stands for package. In other words, complete package. It has everything you need in it. With this one, you know what? Let's open this up real quick and check. I'm not sure if this comes with a rough valve or not. I don't believe it does. I think it's just trim. Let's see. Nope, there's a cartridge in there. I see it, there's a cartridge. But I don't see a rough valve, so yeah, so this, so, so this is similar to how the Delta is done then. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to confirm my suspicion. And I'll show you what the rough-in valve looks like when I work my way back around. There's actually, yeah, there's one right there. Uh, that one's got stops on it. Okay, that's interesting. I could see that being, being useful though. Uh, da -da -da. Couple of handles, uh, wrist blade handles. Olympia. Uh, what is that part number? OP 1900 14C. I'll have to check, but I, I want to say these will actually work on certain Delta models. I could be totally wrong about that, but uh, if you know, we do keep these. What is this? That's some more. That's some more levers. Okay, so. Let's backtrack a little bit. I got some more stuff sitting on the floor here. Uh, anything worth looking at, though? That's the question. Okay, so if the part number starts with a V, that's valve. So the 2415B, that is... What is this? Single handle tub shower pressure balancing valve. Pex inlet and shower outlet with cap tub outlet. Back to back install. Okay. So let's pop this open so you can see what it looks like. Leave that sitting out. I'm going to need that knife again in a second, I'm sure. So this is a PEX ready valve. Turn this where we can see. Yeah, look at that. This PEX ready. It's already got the uh, joint soldered on. They don't look like they're too bad a quality of soldering joints. They probably do it the same way Delta does. This valve, uh, you could cap the bottom to use this for a shower only, or you can switch your tub bell onto it if you wanted to. And it's pressure balanced. And it's got, even got this little guy right here for leveling it. That's kind of neat. I don't know if that really works or not. Who knows how accurate it actually is. I haven't really messed with these as far as installing them, but yeah, it's a neat little trick. And there's some tough in there too. You know, you got a little, little test cap. That's you shove that down inside the valve body, and I believe that prevents the uh, your hot and cold from crossing for refit situations. If you got to get the water back on, so you don't necessarily have to stick a cartridge in it. Ah, it even comes with a cap for the bottom. How about that? Cool. <laughs> that's nice. That's a nice little. Uh, that's a really thoughtful thing to put in there. How about that? Good job, Olympia. Let's see. Put this knife back in my pocket so I don't lose it. Uh, okay, so the P4430, look at that, it's a grab bar and a uh, handheld package. These are actually really nice. Um, I'm not going to pull one out of the box because I'm holding a phone and that would be awkward, but for, it's, it's very, very affordable, and it's a nice set. Uh, we actually have sold a few of these. You know, you, have to, you still have to have a diverter to feed it. And I don't, are we keeping the Olympia diverters? I have to look into that. But 
Really nice little guy. I like these. I like these a lot. What is that? It's more kitchen sink. Uh, here's some valves. That is a V... Oh! A V2400B. Which... Just iron pipe by sweat on all the way around. This box is kind of a mess, though. I'm not really a fan of that. Whoever dumped this around, they could have done a better job. But anyway, so that's your basic valve. Oop, I just bumped my head. And then you got the V2412B. That's kind of like the uh, prefab tub shower that Delta makes. It's got the uh, it's got the tub bell already sweated onto it. And his pecs ready. His pecs all the way around. So that's 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 neat. I like that. That's some more of those. I definitely get your hands on one of these things, these valves, and actually feel the weight of them. They, I think, they're better built than the Delta. To be honest, they've got more mass to them. They've got more brass in them. And for the money, I mean, the rough end valves are pretty close in price, but the trims are so much cheaper. I really like Olympia. I really, really do. So just a review on the valves. So the V2412B, that's got your tub L on it. V2400, it's just iron pipe by sweat all the way around. So that's your, that's your, what's the word I'm looking for? That's your uh, entry level, not entry level, but your versatile one. And the V2415, that's your PEX ready. If you want to do a shower only, that's the one you would want to use because you can just cap that. Or if you want to do a custom tub drop like you, or tub L, depending on how far you got to go. You don't want it pre-sweated on. This is the winter. But that fairly well covers it. Uh, push this stuff. Push it, please. You know, it, it, I believe in it. I really do. And I want to see this stuff move. I really do. You know... So just 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 keep it, just remember it is an option, and uh, get on their website and do a little bit of reading, check and see what all they keep, and uh, if you ever need advice on it, by all means just let me know.